Welcome back to another video. So let's talk about the stocks I bought today and it's a mess. Now I did buy several different companies, but the thing is I will be adding on top of the list and buying more shares and pretty much every single week I'm thinking about maybe adding in $1,000 in just to buy more shares and slowly build up my long-term portfolio. Obviously, I'm still gonna be selling cash secure puts on TNA. That will always be there, it's the bread and butter. This is how it generate nice weekly income to actually spend money on. But what I'm thinking is maybe making some money with TNA and then using that money to buy more shares. So before we get started, definitely check out two links in the description. One of them is a free Discord server with more than 10,000 people. We just hit that number like last night or something like that. It's really fun. We talk about options, stocks, so definitely check them out. It's completely free, so enjoy yourself over there. There's also a Weeble sign-up link. Click on it, make a brokerage account with Weeble, deposit $100, and get two free stocks. Free money right there to definitely spend on Chipotle. But anyway, let's talk about this and what's going on. So I essentially made two accounts. One of them is gonna be my main trading account, which I will be day trading options. This is what I do. It's like a side hustle. Currently, the net account value is around $41,000. It's decently big. And right now today, TNA isn't really doing so well, but I'm kind of just breaking even today, which is pretty awesome. This is like the cool thing about TNA. Even when the stock goes down a little bit, you still make money or you break even because the time decay for TNA is absolutely insane. So TNA, of course, is generating nice weekly income. I'm estimating about maybe making 800 to $1,200 every single week with TNA on my larger account, which is $41,000. And I may actually use some of that money to buy shares on my second account for Thinkorswim, which only has about $3,000 in it. So today, pre-market, I deposited $3,000 exactly into my second account, which I will be growing consistently over the course of the next few weeks. And the reason why you might be asking, why not just combine both accounts together? Like why not just buy shares on your main options day trading account? Well, I've done that before and just for some reason, I have a tendency to sell because sometimes you're just like a few dollars off from selling an extra cash secure put. So you're tempted to sell your shares to make up for that. I don't wanna do that anymore because I just want a nice long-term portfolio and here's what it is. So I deposit $3,000. Today I'm up about 1.59%. I'm up about like 47 bucks. It's honestly pretty nice, especially how this account is making a little bit more money. And this account right here, where some of the cash secure puts is actually losing money. Keep in mind that the really funny thing about American companies right now is like tech is doing extremely well. If you check the futures, even when the VIX is super green, you can clearly see the Dow is super red. The small cap is super red. The mid cap, the airlines are all super red. The only thing green is the US tech. And the S&P 500 is breaking even because the banks are doing bad, but the tech is doing good. So it's around like 0%, but tech is doing really well. And by tech, I mean Amazon, Google, Apple, Tesla, and also a lot of the cloud stocks out there. So you clearly see I have $3,000. I did buy a lot of stocks. I barely have any cash left. Every single dollar I'm trying to invest in companies. And I'm once again, I'm thinking about putting maybe $1,000 every single week and buying more shares. It doesn't matter if I bought it at the high point or the low point, I'm just gonna buy shares. And honestly though, after a few more years, looking back, it's probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. So let's talk about it. You clearly see I do have several companies and a lot of shares and all this add up to a net worth of $3,000 for this account. And currently I'm up about 1.5% today, which is pretty nice. So I have five shares of Apple, I have four shares of Fastly, six shares of RQ, one share of Twilio, two shares of Alterax, two shares of CrowdStrike Holdings, and also ArcF, DDog, SQ, ZS, you know, XLK, which is like the spider brand for like the NASDAQ. It's kind of like QQQ, but it's a lot more affordable if you are into that kind of stuff. And then five shares of Upwork. So, the biggest holding I have right now is Apple. I'm honestly thinking about buying even more because I've made several videos talking about why Apple is really good. And I really think about Apple, even though it's a $2.2 trillion company, it could be like a $3 trillion company very, very soon. Like Apple being $2 trillion, this news was like a few weeks ago. And now it's already at $2.2 trillion. I won't even be surprised if Apple was like 2.4, 2.8, even $5 trillion 
later down in the road. So Apple's a really strong company even today after the stock split, it's up like 4%. It's absolutely incredible. Fastly, I like this a lot. This is a cloud software stock. It pretty much provides like video streaming security balancing for a lot of websites and apps. So this is very important. Keep in mind that I'm a big believer in the internet. I feel like the internet will be the future. And since so much things are going to the e-commerce websites, so many people are making like websites and most of the big tech companies are internet based. If you make a retail business, that's not gonna be a really big thing. If you make like a software online business, websites, apps, stores, you're gonna be needing Fastly. And cloud stocks will be growing insanely fast. And only recently have cloud stocks absolutely exploded up. Fastly is a really small company at $9.5 billion. I feel like it could definitely go up even further. And so far this past week, it's up about 9%. You check the one month chart, actually dropped from like $116 all the way down to like 91 bucks. And I bought the dip, it will slowly go up in my opinion. I feel like Fastly is a fantastic company and I did buy around like this area, like pre-market-ish. So I'm kind of breaking even right now. I also bought ArcQ. This is autonomous technology and robotics. No. So I'm a little bit nervous about straight up buying Tesla stock, even though I kind of should, but Arc Q, one of the biggest holdings inside is Tesla. This is by Arc Invest and they're really, really bullish on Tesla. So pretty much if Tesla goes up, this stock goes up. If Tesla goes down a little bit, but the other companies go up, then this stock goes up as well. This is an actively managed ETF, meaning that if they see a company not doing so well, they will take them out and replace it with a brand new one. So this is like autonomous driving and also electric vehicles, etc. Also CrowdStrike Holdings, another one. This is cybersecurity. This is very similar to ZS, which is the other cybersecurity stock I have. And this is pretty awesome as well, especially how, once again, we have a lot of internet stuff, a lot of software stuff, and a lot of companies are using CrowdStrike Holdings and other cybersecurity companies to make sure the website is nice and healthy. This is absolutely essential. And once again, I do have other guys out there, for example, like D-Dog, this is like an analytic company. And once again, a lot of these companies are gonna be very profitable in the future. Even though in the short term, they may be kind of iffy, but I really do believe in the future when all of things are gonna be on the internet, these software cloud stocks will be more important than ever before. Like for example, like ZS, CrowdStrike Holdings, these cyber securities will be really good. You know, DDoG, analytics, it's gonna be really big. You get the idea of Twilio, which is like communications, you know, SMS messages, calling, Lyft. You know, they use these, you know, software companies on a daily basis. It's really important, Fastly. So the majority of my portfolio is cloud stocks, but I also have other stocks like SQ, you know, Upwork, you know, work from home stocks as well. SQ is honestly pretty awesome because not only they're a fintech company, but they're also making some sort of e-commerce. On top of that, I do have a meaty stock, which is Apple. No matter what, Apple stock will always do extremely well. So you may be asking me, what made me decide to make a investing portfolio instead of like a selling options portfolio. I've been noticing a lot of times the tech stocks usually grow way faster sometimes than when I do cash secure puts. Cash secure puts is pretty awesome when the market is flat, but lately the markets have been going up. The small cap market, the Dow, the S&P 500 has been kind of flat lately, but the tech market is doing extremely well because things are moving on the internet, especially cloud stocks. They're absolutely going to the moon. So investing in cloud stocks is the way to go right now, especially how this portfolio is pretty healthy because I do have two ARK ETFs, which are actively managed ETFs by ARK Invest. Meaning if they see a stock not doing good, they'll simply take it out in place of a brand new one. So I'm definitely gonna be adding in more money into this account specifically. Hopefully I could grow up to $10,000 by the end of next month and just slowly add money and slowly start making money. And during portfolio reviews, I'll definitely you know shout this portfolio review out as well. Show me you guys what kind of stocks I bought, stuff like that. And I may actually think about making a Patreon where you guys can definitely support the channel. I'll give you guys trades and also live details of what I'm doing on Thinkorswim and maybe even on Robinhood. That's about it. Thanks for watching and comment below.